honestly been sitting here for 10 minutes trying to do this intro, but today I filmed my first ever makeup tutorial. That's what you want to call it. It's just what I do every day and it makes me happy. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I tried to accomplish a really red, bronzy, smoky eye and it turned out pretty good on my standards, but you never know. Some people are going to hate. I already know that that's coming if this ever takes off. But this is something I love to do and it's something that I finally sat in front of a camera and accomplished. So I'm really happy that this turned out the way it turned out. Um, I hope you guys, whoever's watching, enjoys this. And be sure to like and subscribe. And we're off, finally getting into this long tutorial. But anyways, I'm going to start by priming my face with the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Moisturizer. It's a really inexpensive moisturizer and it primes the skin well. It helps with smoothing down texture and also with brightening. It really does hold true to that. I will give it that much. I've really been loving this, especially since it's summer, and I'm kind of oily, but I do get dry patches, so it doesn't allow things to stick down onto the dry patches and then move everywhere else, so it's a really good primer, and I really do love it, and I will use it as a holy grail from now until later. And moving on, I'm going in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation in the shade Light Medium Beige. And I really love this foundation so much because it's lightweight, medium to full coverage, and it holds true to everything it promises. But I'm going in with the Y6 from Morphe. A lot of YouTubers really rave about it on their channels. So I was like, me being the person I am, of course I'm going to go try it out. So I went and got it, and I actually really love it. It's a flat top buffer brush, and it's awesome for everything, including concealer, even packing on powder. It's really great, and it doesn't really, like, bunch up with the foundation. Like, you can use a brush sometimes, and it'll leave brush streaks on your face. This does not do that at all. At this point, I completely almost peed my pants because I forgot that I had a cardboard cutout upstairs, and I saw it in the camera, and I had a freak out just for a second. But moving on with this, I really do like the combination of this brush and the foundation together. It doesn't oxidize at all. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. I really, really, really like this um, concealer mainly because it's really full coverage. But I ended up going in with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light just to make sure I had that extra full coverage because I barely sleep and my under eyes really show that. But I went in to blend it with Morphe Y10, and I really like this concealer brush because it doesn't, again, take away too much of the product, so it's still a complete coverage concealer, and it's not like it soaks up all your product, so that's a really good thing. And I also went in after that and added a little more just because my nose needed it. As I finished my blending, I went and I grabbed the Morphe Y11, which is... I considered another concealer brush but it's really good for me when I want to pack on my translucent powder but I don't want to bake I just want to set everything into place but I went in with the cover FX setting powder in the shade translucent light and I really like this powder because it's talc free and it looks really soft on the skin which makes me happy and uh, I need a coffee break whatever but then I went in to prime my eyes using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, using an e.l.f. brush. And I can't remember, but there's a part in this video where there's a spider on me, and I don't remember where it is. But here I'm yelling at the camera, doing my brows off camera, I don't know why that's in there. Then going into the Kylie Jenner Skinny Dip palette using the bronzer and a Morphe bronzing brush, which I used the Y5. And I bronzed up the skin twice because that one's a really light bronzer and I'm still fair but I still need a tan. So after I blend and blend and blend, more blending, I go in with a, I don't know, I got that brush off of Amazon, but it's a um, nose contouring brush and I ended up, did I already go in with a butter bronzer? No, here I go. I'm going in with a butter bronzer to give myself a more slight tan I guess you want to say and I go in with the 
it's also another morphe brush the y9 it is the perfect contour brush and i really love it because it gets into the crevices that i need it to so i don't if you can see my brother in the background i just noticed that there he is but anyways, now I'm going to go in for blush, and I'm going into the, the Styled by Harouche palette. and using the blush out of there, and I'm blushing, and I'm smiling. And now my favorite part, I'm going in for my eyeshadow using the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I was so happy when I got this in the mail. I thought it was never going to come. Now I'm taking my Y16 by Morphe and dipping into... Dipping. Dipping. Dipping into the shade Silk Cream. I really love this shade. It's a perfect transition color. And then I'm going to go in with a different blending brush. Not sure what it is, but I'm going into the shade Butter just so I can build up that color since it's along the same color line, but it's a little bit more pink. And I really like this color as well. It's These shadows are incredibly easy to blend, and that's another thing that makes me happy about this palette. I waited so long for it. Now I'm going to take my Y15 and dip into the shade Hunts. And this is a really, really, really pretty burnt orange color. And the color payoff is ridiculous. Like, it is amazing. It's really hard to find really buttery formulas that blend out as well as these shadows do. And I've honestly... I've just been living for it. I've done two looks with this, and that's it. But... Other than that, I'm just really pleased that I got to get my hands on this palette. It's amazing. I'm then going to take a smaller detailer like fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the shade Jax. This is a really, it's like a purpley undertone to like a maroon color, but it's more purple than it is red. And I'm really going to focus this on the, oh I'm already moving on, Bailey, oh my god, I really focus that into the outer crease. And then I'm going to go into the shade, I think it's Firework. And I'm going to place this all over the lid. And I laid down a glitter primer just to make sure that everything went where I wanted it to be. And I'm just going in with another brush that I got in a set from Amazon. If I knew the shades, i tell you. The shades, the brushes. If I knew the brushes, i tell you. But I'm going in again with the first Morphe brush that I used. And blending out those harsh edges. And then I'm going in with a smaller detailer brush into the shade SBN. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the shade Queen, which is more of a golden tone, and place that over just to make it pop more. Then I went in with a inner corner highlight. I'm already moving on highlighter. I need to slow this down. But I always tight line to make sure that my lashes always look better when I put on mascara. So they don't look small, they look bigger, and they look fuller, and they look more volumized. But I use two different mascaras, one for lengthening and one for volumizing. And I'm really, really happy that I can find mascaras that I like because it is so hard. I'm already feeling myself. What am I doing? Already feeling myself. This is the longest part. I do so many coats of mascara. It is ridiculous. But here we go. You already know what's next. <laughs> I'm going in with the Skin Frost from the Jeffree Star and Manny MUA collab in the shade Eclipse in this highlighter is like my bread and butter i've never fell in love with the highlighter as much as i have and i always highlight i will highlight till i blind you when i walk outside in the sunlight and it's absolutely annoying when people tell me you wear too much highlight you need to go matte i'm not going matte and i will never go back okay i like my highlight you should appreciate my highlight and not judge me because i don't judge you now I'm going into one of Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Androgyny, and I really, really love this color. It's beautiful and so universal. But after that, I'm just going in with a plain lip gloss, and I'm going to go over that because I prefer more glossy lip, but I really like the formula of his lipsticks. Anyways, guys, I'm really excited that I got to film this, and I hope that whoever watches this likes it. Remember to please, 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 please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully be back soon. Bye guys. Shouty and me on the late night. Got a man, got me thinking Shouty ain't right. She say she ain't about to creep life. But all she wanna do is take pipe.